enchanting and imaginative as a dream, as romantic as moonlight on the ocean, as beautiful as Heinz sculpture, as ugly as its poverty-ridden slum, as warm and tender as a mother's love, as cold and impersonal as a prisoner's number. This is magnetic Manhattan, drawing to its shores thousands from east and west, north and south, far and near. Some old, some young, some happy, some sad, some hopeful, some disillusioned, but all seeking a way of life. This is the story of fools lost in sin, caught in the panorama of this chaotic magnet is one William Burton, alias Dollar Bill. Hey, Robert. Robert! Wake up there! Hey! Go on and sleep. It's muddy at Tropical Park. First away at 115 and a half. The winner posts four, Barmaid, 1120, 530, 440. Second post 12, Checkmate, 680, 460. Hello, all the way fine, Neil. By that door, knocking on that door up there. The door across the hall by the steps. Listen. All right, and this is the room. And there's your bed. Do you think you like it? Yes, um, it's, it's right nice down here. Yeah, well, we ain't had no complaints lately. Of course, we ain't had no famous people like you, and you might be a bit particular. No, ma'am, I, I reckon I'll stay. Uh, well, I reckon that'll be three fifty. What is this? Mr. Lee. Mr. Isaiah Lee from Alabama, who will pay his rent. Brother Isaiah will be living here by himself. I'm quite glad to make your acquaintance. I'm right fond of company. Ah, uh, if you but knew it, you are moving into some real fast company. Why, that's Mr. Dollar Bill, who right now is not uh, answering by his real name. He's a promoter. He's just closing a big deal, ain't you, Bill? And that's stiff laying there is a no writing writer you will ever meet in New York. So you see, Georgia, you have some real celebrities to live with. Oh, uh, I ain't from Georgia. I'm from Alabama. Well, all right, Alabama. Then make yourself to home. And through that door there, you'll find a right smart toilet and washroom in case you might want to tidy up a bit. Oh, yes, sir. Ma. Thanks an awful lot. I'd like to kind of wash my feet. Well, uh, yes, you do that. I'm sure Mr. Bill would appreciate it. The apostles always wash their feet after a long journey. Sure helps a man to... Oh, I'm sorry, man. It, it sure helps a man to wash his feet when he's tired. Mr. George Washington Lee from Alabama. This is a real drag. Maybe I should have asked him for his reference. The next time, I'll ask you for your personal okay. You're pushing me around, Happy, and I don't like it. I'm like you. I like a winner. So? I'm laying all my bets on a number one winner. He won't last long. He'll go fast. A real turkey. Leading with his chin. Huh. You're wrong. He's looking for a job. A working square. Scared, maybe. But still in there with his dupe stuff. He's still a turkey leading with his chin. All right. But he's not a has-been. And why don't you get wise to yourself and find a job? You don't tell me how to live. And you don't tell me who to rent to. 
I'd like to push this whole crummy joint down your throat. And why don't you try? Bubbling B, 3840-1965-20. Second post 12, kiss me, 480-260. Third post 6, auto boy returns 490 to show. Buddy Bregan was up on the winner. That last minute scratch in the first was Katie May. Post time for the second, a tropical was 145. That Buddy Bregan is some jockey to watch. His last four. Oh, boy. Sure, feel better. You got nice hot water. Huh? Hot water is nice. Yeah, hot water is nice. Is he sick? No, dead. Dead? Yeah, dead. You like to joke, don't you? That's his, and I don't like nobody to touch it, see? Oh, I'm awful sorry. I, I didn't mean no harm. Oh, it's okay. Can we forget it? Sure. That's his life. You break that, and you'll break his heart. Sure. Is he a great writer? Sure, great. Only the squares in this town don't dig his stuff. What do you mean by squares, Mr. Bill? Oh, it's okay. You'll learn. How's about that box there? Can you play it? Oh, yes, sir. I used to play for parties down in Muckrow County. Yeah? What'd you play? Oh, nothing special. I sort of made it up as I went along. Uh -huh. Knock out enough. Huh? Go on, play something. Oh. It might wake him up. Good something should wake him up. Play one of those songs you made up in Alabama. Okay, if you, if you say it's all right, Mr. Bill. Don't call me Mr. Bill. Just call me Bill. Yes, sir. If you don't 
come back to daddy. He'll drown his buddy in the deep blue sea. Not bad, Alabama, not bad. Who is your friend? Ours, you mean. We inherited him. He just dropped in from, from Alabama to give us a concert. Decided that he likes the quarter so well, he's going to stay. Alabama, shake hands with Mr. Robbins. He might put you in his next book. I'm right glad to meet you, sir. I, I hope you ain't mad about the noise. Mr. Billy had told me I could play. It's all right, son. What did you say your name was? Isaiah. Isaiah Washington Reed. Okay, Isaiah. Yeah. Incidentally, Happy stopped in while you were sleeping. Said she's sick of your sleeping blues. They're getting her down. And if you don't like the new rumor, you can move. You I stayed know. up in advance. I know, I know. I hope you don't mind me, Mr. Roberts. It's all right, son. We are just one happy family here. What did Katie May do? Katie May. Scratch. And top flight run out of the money. Hey, y'all know Katie May? Oh, yes, yes, sure. She's an old friend of ours. Well, I heard she was up here. She's from down home, you know. Well, now, you don't say. Sure. Her mama used to teach me in Sunday school. See there, Robert? I told you Katie May was good for something. Y'all you know where she is? I want to see it. Well, when you find her, let Mr. Bill know. I'm sure he wants to see her. Well, I got money for coffee and in the morning. We'll eat steak. All y'all talk about eating sure makes me hungry. Hey, my mom fixed me a whole shoebox full of fried chicken, sweet potato biscuits to bring with me. I think I got one wing left. Yeah, here it is, Miss Vapor Bag. I think it is. Yeah, I got one wing and two biscuits. I was saving it just in case I got hungry. But, uh, y'all my new friends now, and I want you to taste some of my mom's food. Ike, my boy. It's very nice of you. Mr. Bill and I sure appreciate it. But you see, it's been so long since we had good old Alabama cooking. We were afraid it might upset our digestive tract. So, suppose you see. Well, well, you're welcome to it. That's nice. Thanks. Well, I, I want to eat in a lunchroom anyhow. I like eating lunchroom. That's an idea. Suppose you run along and eat in the lunchroom and shake some of that dust off your feet. Uh, hey. I wash my feet, they clean. Oh, cut out the chatter, Alabama. Come on, play us a number. I'd be right glad to oblige. You, uh, you like my playing, Mr. Bill? Oh, I like it. Alabama, I think you got something. And now you're a music critic. Shut up, Bob. Go on and play, Alabama. Didn't want to do it. Why did she do it then? Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. She just don't love me. She doesn't love having All right, you stumble bum. Cut out this racket. Why do you play with that crumb? I could choke her. Hold tight, Bill. Hang on to your sense of humor. Hang on. Well, I guess I'll go and get me something to eat. Would you like to go with me, Mr. Bill? I'm going to look for a job. How about you, Mr. Roberts? No, thanks, Ike. I got some writing to do. I'll be back as soon as I find a job. Come back anyway. Oh. Say, Bill, I got a new idea for a story. Boy, it's a honey. A young fella started off with a push cart. Fifteen years later, he was traveling around the world in his own yacht. He married in... Shut up! Shut up, you fool. Shut up! You sit there babbling like an imbecile. Talking about a story that nobody's gonna buy. While the whole world spits in your face. You dumb turkey. Go ahead. Sit there. Peck away on that stinking typewriter till you rot. Sit here and take the insult from that broken down crumb upstairs. Go ahead. Sit here in this jungle like an animal. 
while the whole world steps on you. Well, nobody steps on Dollar Bill. Take it easy, Bill. There's nobody stepping on you. No more they ain't. Hold on, Bill. Your luck's bad now, but it'll change. You bet it'll change. Because I'm going to change it. I'm going to get on top. Yeah. Check that light out there on top of the bank. See that light? High on top, giving out with the flag. That's me. I belong on top. Up there looking down, not down here looking up. When you're up there, you don't get stepped on. I don't think anybody's stepping on you, Bill. Who asked you to Where are you going? To get that yacht. What do you think? Barkeep. 360, Mr. George. Keep the chain. Thank you, Mr. George. Some looker, hey, boy? You telling me. Ain't that the guy that works at the two spot? Yeah, man, that's Regina, the one and only. Can you imagine? Some guys get all the love. Forget it, Mac. He's a B-29 gal. I'm built like a Fleetwood. She ain't on your time. Who's that stud with her? You don't know him? No. Man, that's Big Bear George from Chicago. And I do mean bad. See, what did I tell you? Big time. Big George is known for his five chicks. Well, now, ain't this a treat? What you know, Dollar Bill? Don't tell me you've spoken. <laughs> hey, boy, look who's here. Dollar Bill, and he's gonna buy a beer. <laughs> hey, Pat, give Dollar Bill a beer. Even I can buy a glass of sud. <laughs> Give me a drink. And the next time, remember, I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm sorry, doll. The boss says I gotta collect first of all. Give me a drink. All right, doll. All right. Leave the bottle. Hey, Dollar, you forgot to pay me. Yeah.
I prayed for your book to be blessed and sell real big, Mr. Roberts. If I don't have better luck with this chapter, I'll be praying with you. Did you get that yacht? Drop dead, will you? Don't rush me. Yeah. I'm on my way. Hey, Mr. Bill, you know what? I got a job down at the lunchroom, washing dishes. Ah, that's nice. And he prayed for us. What do you want here? Oh, please don't be angry. What do you want? I wanted to know if you were hurt. No, I'm not hurt. How'd you get here? Oh, I followed you. I thought I could get a chance to talk to you. Who is it, Bill? Some girl who paid my check at the bar. My name's Etta. Etta Mason. How do you do, Miss Mason? My name is Roberts. That's Mr. Lee over there. Mr. Isaiah Washington Lee. I see you already know Mr. Dollar Bill. Yes. And she paid your check for you. Boy, you did get that job. Shut up there yapping, Robert. Listen, little girl. You paid my check. Nobody asked you to. And I thank you. Now will you go home? Wait a minute, Bill. That's not a nice way to treat a lady if she paid your check for you. That's all right, Mr. Roberts. Maybe I shouldn't have come. I just thought that maybe I could... I thanked you at the bar. And I'm thanking you again. What more do you want? Nothing. What was your thing yesterday? Uh, two six and I had two six two one. Can you imagine that? I'm going to stop playing those play ticket numbers. Honey, I told my old man last night. If he, if he don't get a hit today, he better look for a new pad, playing all his money on single action. What's in life? Well, all I know is you lay one and you pick one. If you're right, you collect eight. If you like me, you're wrong, and the answer is no. Good morning, Gertie. A letter from Mr. Roberts. Another rejection slip. Put this dollar on the first figure, okay? Good morning. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, of course not. This is a surprise. Well, after last night, I didn't know it. You mustn't mind, Bill. He wasn't himself last night. Oh, won't you sit down and rest a while? He'll be back soon. Oh, the boys are out. Now set your packages on the table and make yourself comfortable. Oh, I fixed a little something for you, fellas. Boy, how many eggs sandwiches? Cake and coffee. Say, listen, little lady, who are you? The Red Riding Hood? Or am I dream? Oh, I just thought we could all have breakfast together. Wait a minute. Let's get something straight. Last night you pay a check for a crazy guy named Bill. Then you come here and get chased home. Tonight, you're back with a feast for the wolves who threw you out. Mr. Roberts, you make me seem awful. Awful? Why, you're wonderful. I just thought we could all have breakfast together. And I'd get a task to explain to Bill why I interfered last night. And he had to be out. Well, you just sit right there and tell me all about it. Honey, because I want to know. Suppose you and I eat. Because the coffee's getting cold. We'll say something for them. Uh, when did Dollar Bill meet you? He didn't. What do you mean he didn't? He doesn't know me. You mean last night was the first time you saw him? Oh, I saw him. That is, I knew him. But he didn't know me. Wait a minute. This thing is getting more and more complicated. Now, won't you go over it again, Pa? You see, it's like this. About three years ago, when I was 15, Bill used to visit someone in my block. We kids used to admire how he dressed. The pretty clothes he wore. When he was laughing and happy, he'd stop and give all us his a dollar apiece. I know. He had a winner. The old folks used to talk about him. Said he was a gambler, but he gave them money, too. That's Bill. 
When he's happy, he wants everybody to be happy. My mother was very sick. And one day, when Bill gave all us kids a dollar, I took mine and bought flowers for mother. I'll always remember it. It was the last time I saw her smile. Poor kid. I'm sorry. She was so happy. Said I was a good girl. You are? You must have had a fine mother. Ma worked hard. She did the best she could. It was only us two. What happened to your father? Oh, I don't remember him. He and my mother didn't stay together. Who do you live with now? With Mrs. Anderson. She was a friend of mother's. Does she take care of you? Oh, she tries. But I get around. I know how to take care of myself. Do you think it's wise to fall for Bill? He's pretty fast company, you know. Just like sticking your hand in a bag of loose needles. Depends on the point of view. Oh, I don't mean Bill is not a fine fellow. Down underneath, they don't come any better. I know. Right now, he's a little bitter, mad at the world. But he's swell. You really like him, don't you? Oh, I don't know. I suppose so. What do you do? Oh, I call myself a writer. You see that machine over there? I write. But no one seems to like it but Bill. He thinks I'm wonderful. Are you? Well, they don't like my stuff. You written many stories? Oh, you see that box over there is full of them. And a rejection slip with each one. Oh, I'd like to read some of your stories sometime. You're welcome. Any time you come. Thanks. Well, that was a nice breakfast. I'll tell the boys they don't know what they missed. We'll just cover this over and save it for them. What time is it? Oh, the clock over the bank says 10.30. Well, I'd better hurry, or I'll be late to work. Where do you work? 23rd Street, the garment sector. I do piecework, operate on dresses. Do you like it? Oh, it's all right. I make a good dollar. Oh, I'm sorry, but I must go now. Well, I'll tell Bill you were here. Come back tonight, won't you? If you'll take care of the new sneakers. Goodbye. Hi, bad boy. You get me that rod? And the jewel. Got it? Yeah. Got the stuff? Here's the stuff. And if you move it fast, there's more where it comes from. I'll get it moved fast. Don't worry. Thanks. So long. So long, boy. See ya. Okay, bad boy. Grandma, what's new? Oh, I should ask you, Hattie. You get around, you know. Ah, uh, you know all the pretty people. Who's your friend? Oh, Regina, I want you to meet Dollar Bill, a great guy. Hello, Bill. How are you? Swell. Are you as fine as you look? No, you're kidding. Well, that you'll have to find out. Hey, Pat, give the ladies a drink. Regina's bad boy George's heartbeat. Well, you know him? Yes. But he never told me about you. Where does he hide you? The club two spot. She works there. Well, real class. You're not bad yourself. Where does one find you? You don't have to hang me on a line, baby. I'll buy the scotch anyway. It's no line. You're my type, champ. Did you say champ? A chump. Oh, pardon me just a moment. Excuse me, darling. I want to run and pat on my nose. Get it? Sure. You're lucky, you know. Knife is like I had in one. Perfect. Not a flaw. Yeah, let's see. Get a load of that. How much? Two C. Two C. That's right. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of rock. I haven't left that much. You haven't? How much you got? Let's see, six bits. 175, huh? Okay, the rock's a little hot. I want to unload it. I'll take it. Okay. And I tell her about working here all night and about the bugs I got to serve. You know what she says? People don't bug you. You bug yourself. Oh, have another drink. Wait, let me finish this. Oh, Thank you. 
How many times I tell you I don't allow no dancing in here? Man, I don't care what you don't allow. I don't put my neck on that piccolo, so I'm going to dance anyhow. Says who? Says me. Now, be nice to yourself, because you'll make me mad. One, two, three, I'll be over there on you. Yeah, four, five, six, and you'll be off me, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Says who? Oh. Come on over. Come on. I'll be ever ready. I'll just let you have it. Oh, who wants to dance anyway, man? Well, this is a bar, not a dance hall. Tell it for Cool Breeze. Maybe he don't know. I'm telling you. Take it out of here. Go ahead, you bald head turkey. Del, where you been, little? Hugging the world, baby. Hugging the world. Bob made me stay until you came. He wanted me to be here when I told you the good news. Don't hold me. What news? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me, Alabama, I know. You're the biggest square that ever left the cotton fields of Alabama. Joe, you've been drinking. Now, how do you know? I met Josh White today, and he's going to give me lessons. Well, can you imagine that? He met Josh White today. Well, I met Regina today. And she's going to give me lessons. Hey, Angel Faye, buy yourself a new dress, like Regina. Regina's got a new dress. Regina's got class. Regina's got everything. I'd better go now, Bob. That's all right. I'll talk with him. Shut up. You talk to me. Who are you to talk to me? Sick of you. I'm sick of all your yapping. I'm sick of this whole crummy joint. I'm getting out. I'm going to move up where people's got class. Yeah, class. That's what I need. That's me. Class. I gotta breathe. Class. What? On your way down, stop in the jungle. Your friends will still be here. And here's five C's. Your share of the drop last night. Got your gun on you? No, you know what happened on yeah. that. Yeah. I'll take this rod for the night, just in case. Tommy, now you want to dig me the night's layout again so there won't be any slip up. OK, now get this. You keep the motor of the car running by the warehouse curve. We'll load the furs. When I slam your car door, wheel away, but fast. Get the stuff to our regular stash. Boys there will unload. And don't be careless. This is a hundred grand haul. Depend on Papa, bad boy. I'll deliver. Broadway needs me, but Harlem's got me. Harlem ain't got you. I got you. I ain't got you with these. I ain't got you with those. I got you with my little, little bit of toes. <laughs>
nothing would take me anywhere. So I could jet a rock, a rubber ball, a roll, takes a long tall daddy to satisfy my soul. Baby, rock me with that daddy roll. My baby, rock me with that daddy roll. Do you want to jump, children? Yeah! 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 Jump, 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 jump. Now, George, what'd you expect me to do with the cops on my tail? Get them off, wise guy. Get them off. They jumped me before I knew it. Then the traffic beat me. That's why I took the park. Tell it to them. You're getting your cut to get the stuff through. I'm doing the best I could. Your best stinks. I get a hundred grand worth of fur and safe in a car. You let the cops cruise you. Do you think you could have gotten away? I'm asking the questions. And I'm giving you the answers. All right, you're cutting me out. Well, what are you waiting for? That's the first answer you've gotten straight. Only you're too hot right now. I gotta keep you where I can find you. You're still wet behind the ears. Maybe I can dry them up a bit. Don't do me no favors. I'll remember that. Now you can go. Just a minute. Let me give you a little tip. Stay away from Regina. You tell Regina to stay away from me. Darling, play our number. Any time for you.
that keeps ringing, keeps me singing for the things you do to me. Hello, Bill. How are you? Gee, Mr. Bill, it's good to see you. Gee, gee, you sure looking fine. Thanks, Alabama. Hello, Angel Faye. How you doing? The boys think you all right? Oh, I'm all right, Bill. How have you been? Oh, never better. Oh, excuse me, honey. Uh, meet Etta. Etta, meet Regina. How are you, my dear? How do you do? And this is my pal Bob, the writer. What great. So you're Bob. I've been anxious to meet you. Bill talks about you all the time. He thinks you're tough. Oh, you mustn't listen to Bill. <laughs> He's partial. Never mind, Jivin' Bob. Meet Alabama there. Alabama, this is Regina. She's come down to hear you play. I'm right glad to meet you, ma'am. Hello, Alabama. Bill tells me you're good. Yes, sir. Am I? Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, oh, man, you all them things. Get your box down and tune it up. Okay. Oh, don't let me break up your checker game. Who's winning? Bob. He's got a tricky system. Always gets to the king's row first. Mm. Isn't that the general idea? You speaking about checkers? Of course, dear. I play the game, too. And I bet you know every move. I usually win. Uh, say, Alabama, play that new number of yours for Bill. Yeah, let's see if you feel good. Mr. Josh White taught me a new number. Well, let's hear it. Well, I don't know it's so good, but uh, you want me to play one of your oldies? Oh, sure. Play your old favorite. <laughs>
there. She didn't want to do it. If she didn't want to do it, why did she do it there? Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. She just don't love me, she just loves having fun. You fool me, baby, you won't see me no more. You fool me, baby, and you won't see me no more. Cause what I saw last night drove me away from your door. You're no good, baby, you're no good to me. You're no good, baby, you're no good to me. You're no good, baby, so stay away from me. You're real gone, Alabama. Play us another. You really are good, Alabama. I wish I had time for more. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got to get to the club, haven't you? Can Alabama come, too? You can play a number for the customers. Mm. Sure, great. Get into your coat, Alabama. You're going, please. It's been swell meeting you. Won't you come, too? Some other time. We'll let Alabama represent us. Goodbye, dear. Too bad you can't come. Oh, that's all right. I've already heard you, Stan. Come on, darling. I'll be late. Knock him dead, Alabama. Good luck, Alabama. So long, Angie Faith. So long, Bob. Hello, Angie Faith. Where the boy? Oh, Alabama went to rehearsal, and Bob asked me to wait here while he went downtown. Oh, I see. Well, now, in, the, in that case, take this money and give it to Bob. Tell him this for his and Alabama's rent. I'll put it here on the table. Aren't you going to wait? No, I've got to get to the track. We don't see much of you anymore. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? And I've got a sneaking suspicion you're right. Don't let that get you down, darling. She don't ring no bells in my heart. I'm always around, you know. Yeah. You know, you're smoking my eyes, baby. Now, is that nice? Say, <laughs> this ring you stole me is a fake. The jeweler says it's worthless. Ah, uh, you're crazy. Look, I want my money back. Get out of my face. Don't you see me talking to lady? Look, you give me my money? Get out of here. I told you before to keep those crumbs away from me when I'm with ladies. I didn't know you was going to bother That's me. all yeah. right. Give us all a drink here. I'll have a beer. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no, the sport's on me. Believe it or not, fellas, this is going to make his fish. <laughs> Go on, Ted, give everybody a drink. Let's have some champagne. How about some champagne, old man? Coming right up. How many bottles? 
How many bottles serve everybody? We'll count the bottles later. We're gonna have a real celebration. Don't drink that beer, Cooper. Champagne for you. Can you imagine that? I pass up two thumbers on a piccolo to sport him a beer, and he walks out and leaves it. <laughs> Hey, man, what are you trying to do? Break up the juice box? Yeah. Well, I'll give you your money back. Well, hand it here. <laughs> Keep the dime, man. Don't get mad at Cool Breeze, honey, when you can drink champagne in his eyes. Yes, how about that one? Yeah, that's cool enough. Nice friend, too, isn't it? Uh-huh. Hey, Bill! Watch it! Stop! This calls for celebration. Just think, Bob. You got a real television celebrity. Don't, or a roommate. Don't you see my chest stuck out? Well, I don't start really till next week. But you've got a signed contract. You in. Won't well, Bill be happy when he hears this? Start at the beginning, Alabama, and tell us just what the man said. Well, he said at first that the man who, who pays for the program or, or something, a show, something like that, he said that that man thinks I'm good. He likes my playing, and he's going to give me $200 a week for 16 weeks. And then he said I get more. Boy. $3,200 for 16 weeks. Alabama, you are a celebrity. Well, that's all he said. Well, when's your first program? Well, he said I start from a week, a uh, week from today, I think. Let's drink to Alabama's success. our television audience our newest talent discovery, Alabama Ike and his guitar.
and welcome to the Telaways. Sorry I can't be with you, but we'll dig your show from Boston. Signed, Josh White. What do you mean, he dig my show? <laughs> that means he'll see you on television from Boston. Oh, I bet he did, too. <laughs> you know, Where's my boy? Oh, Alabama, you were so good. I could just hug you, or you might think I was trying to get a little fresh. Uh, I saw you just as plain, like, and I went to the corner bar, and they let me sit on a stool. And I saw you in there, big folks, and I guess I acted kind of foolish like, because I said out loud, there's my Alabama, <laughs> and everybody looked at me and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, I didn't know you went for the blues. I thought you was on the bebop kick. Well, here's something else you don't know. I have a bottle of wine upstairs, and I've been keeping it for years and years. And I said I wouldn't open it until there was a cause for a real celebration. And this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama, you are a celebrity. Anytime you can cut through Grady's heart, you're a success. A bottle of wine, Edda. Turn on the radio. This is an occasion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you're still tuned in to Bill Owens' Saturday Night Bop Barrage. And every Saturday at this time, we bring you some highlights in the news of the people, the great people, our people. And tonight we take great pride in bringing you this choice bit. Today, Levi Jackson, that hard-running Negro halfback, was elected to be captain of the Yale, yes, I said Yale, football team for 1949. How about that? And last Friday, William Burton Brown, more infamously known around this concrete jungle as Dollar Bill, received in full his final payment just follow me. Mr. Roberts, there's a gentleman here to see you. How do you do, Robert? I'm Bill Chase, the editor of the Hall and Herald. How do you Glad do? to meet you. How do you do? Uh, this is Miss Sands, Miss Gibson, Miss Gibson. my roommate, Mr. Lee. Oh, Mr. Lee, I'm glad to know you. I saw you last night on television, and you were wonderful. Thank you. I'll have you to congratulate you. Won't you sit down? No, thank you. I really can't stay. I'll tell you what brought me here. My paper's just learned that this notorious underworld character, Dollar Bill, uh, who was killed last week, you know, in that gun raid. Don't you tell that lie. Bill wasn't killed in no gun battle. The man walked up behind his back, the yellow dog, and Bill had to shoot in self-defense. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Sands. Perhaps I was mistaken. You sure was. What I was about to say, Mr. Roberts, is that I understand that you knew him very well. He was my best friend. I also understand that you're a writer. For 25 years. Well, here's what I'd like. I'd like to have you do a series of articles for my paper on your experiences with Dollar Bill as a friend. You might call it Dollar Bill as I knew him. Human interest stuff, you know. Mr. Chase, Dollar Bill was a fine boy who got bad breaks. Because I admired the good in him, and because I knew him better than he did himself at times, because of this, what I might write would fall far short of what your sensational paper would expect. You see, Mr. Chase, I knew what he wanted in life. Mr. Roberts, you're my man. That's just the way I'd hope that you would feel about this. I also understand that Dollar Bill called this place the uh, jungle. Don't you call my house no jungle. This is a respectable house. Oh, I'm sorry again, Mrs. Sand. I didn't really mean to offend you. What I would like to tell you, though, I'd like to have you do this series of features, but you need not a answer my question right now. You need not write about Bill, write about Harlem, the people here, the streets. You've got my card. Call me at your convenience. Thanks. I'll come to see you, Mr. Chase. Thank you very much, Mr. Robert. Goodbye, all. Thank you, Mr. And Thank you. I'll show you out. Jungle. 
Oh, Bob, I'm so happy to hear about your success. Isn't it wonderful? Well, Letta, uh, looks like I'll be needing a secretary. I think you'll make Ike a good manager. How about it, Ike? Well, uh, I, I'd appreciate it very much, Miss Edda, if, 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 if you want to do it. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, boys. I only wish there were four of us to share all of this success. That's life, Edda. For every ending, there's a beginning. 